and spend today in this quiet Berkshire Valley. Here for centuries, time and tomorrow have been measured in terms of how tall the corn will be, whether the stock will be ready for market, and how the two-year-old from the local stable will do in the 330. But suddenly, in the midst of the old world, a new force has arrived, the atom. This peaceful village is on the doorstep of the government's atomic research center. Young, vigorous, with its own ideas. That's the shape of the world to come. And the old folks wonder what the atom means, what it will bring. Old folk who want to be left alone. Into the mind of Bert Bailey the shepherd has crept a question mark. All his life his sheep have grazed on the green and gentle valley. Now over there, the atom has made its bow. The atom and the lambs, side by side. It's the talk of the village. It's topic A in the pub. What's going on? asked Bill Bradfield. Ah, secret, says Fred Carter. I wonder why he thinks Ben Molly. The atom. There across the valley, behind walls of white concrete, the atom is yielding its secrets to Britain's scientists. Behind a ring of wire, the forces of tomorrow's power are being unlocked on the very doorstep of a village with one foot in yesterday. For this is Harwell in Berkshire, and this is the Government Atomic Energy Research Establishment. Even the old Harwell airfield is out of date now. The atom has arrived. New faces are seen, new accents are heard in the village today. A new population of strangers has arrived. From the office boy to the biggest buffin of all, they are stopped at the gates. There's a guard, not a village constable. Security police, they call them. A new town, complete with new modern homes, has grown up here. Homes that somehow don't belong in the rolling downs and the green valley. All day long, lorries come and go. They're stopped at the gates too. Surely they don't think there's a spy in there? The bustling activity, the noise, the secrecy, all these things are alien to country folk. What is it all about? Not long ago, the men from the atom station met the local people in the village hall, told them what was going on, but it didn't seem to make much sense. They explained that the atom was something more than an instrument of death, explained that here, hard by their village, was being made the greatest experiment in the experience of human endeavor. just let them get on with it. The atom has nothing to do with them. It belongs to tomorrow, and tomorrow can take care of itself and the atom. <laughs> 